What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of J. Jazz, the piano tutorial man. Definitely back again with another one, two, three. Yep, I heard you. Classic, no doubt about it, man. Mr. Al Jarreau, uh definitely rests his soul. A wonderful, wonderful, great, great singer. Uh, definitely when it comes to the jazz singers, you think of the ones that were, you know, from our, I won't say our generation, because, you know, he definitely was older than me. I'm only 41, but he was alive. Let's just put it that way. Just great vocalist, great vocalist. Well, he teamed up with uh, the network ABC to do this song called Moonlighting for a TV show that was called Moonlighting, and this was the theme song for that show. So, um, and classic that's all i can say so we want to jump into this song and learn all these beautiful chords so that y'all out there can get out there and y'all can um play the song too all right so the song starts um now this i didn't listen to the actual i didn't when i went to youtube i didn't click on the actual tv show i just went to because he did have this re, you know he had recorded versions where he did the entire song so we're going to go through the entire song so this was just based off the like the entire song if i remember it i'll put a, a link in the description of this video of the video that i was listening to so um that i watched when i was um, going over this song so um just you know check the description if if that and if i forget to put it in there leave it in the comments and i'll add it Okay, so introduction, um, on the version that I heard, he does this four different times. He goes, that's one time, then, mm, 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 mm. so let me show you what that is. So what you're doing is, it's a C minus seven. What you're doing is double C on the left hand, B flat, E flat, G and B flat on the right hand. And before I keep going, I cannot ignore the person who sponsored this tutorial. So sorry. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Rolando Phillips, for sponsoring this tutorial. His name is on the screen. I'm sorry, I almost forgot to mention you, man. I always like to mention the people that support the channel. All right, so again, C minor seven, double C on the left hand, B flat, E flat, G, B flat on the right hand. And all you gotta do is just hit the C by itself and then go to F minor nine. Double F on the left hand, A flat, C, E flat, G. That's what you're doing. You're gonna do four groups of what I just showed you. You're gonna do that four times. So dun, dun, that's one time. Dun, Two. That's three, four, and then you're going to go to Okay, y'all like, hold up, back up, sir, you can show us those chords. All right, so after you do that four times, you want to go to B flat minus seven, double B flat left hand. F, A flat, B flat, and D flat on the right hand. Or should I do it this way? I'm gonna show you a different, the same chord, but I'm gonna show it to you in a different inversion because it is it, it's closer to how he uh, how they played it. So still double B flat on the left hand, but do do this inversion of B flat minor. Uh, you're gonna do A flat, B flat, D flat, and F. Do that one because that's the Da. Then you want to go to C minor seven. Double C on the left hand. B flat, C, E flat, G. And then you want to go to D flat major nine. Double D flat on the left hand. C, E flat, F, A flat on the right hand. Then all you got to do is just take this, uh, your thumb on your right hand and move it up to D flat. Take your left hand, move it over to E flat. And I just simply call that a D flat at nine over top of E flat. Okay, and that's your intro right there. So um not doing it four different times, I'll just do it two times, but here's the intro. 
So that's one time. I'll do it just one more time just for right now. And then you want to go to, uh, what was it again? Um, there we go. <laughs> then, and if you want to play that melody, that's C, D flat, E flat. If you want to add that, whatever the words are. So that um, little progression that I messed up on is, Took me a couple times, but I got it right that time. Y'all saw that I got it right finally. Okay, so we on the verse now. Um, when he starts singing, A flat major nine, double A flat on the left hand, G, B flat, C, E flat. Okay, then you want to jump to. This is just an A flat minor seven over D flat. Okay, double D flat left hand, A flat, B, E flat. G flat on the right hand. And then you want to come down to a D flat seven. So keep your left hand on double D flat and your right hand A flat, B, D flat, and F. And then you want to go to G flat major nine. G flat, D flat, G flat on the left hand. A flat, B flat, D flat, F on the right hand. And then you want to go to a suspended C7 chord. So and this is um, when you're suspending the fourth. Double C on the left hand. B flat, C. And then F, of course, is your suspended four. And then you got the G on your right hand. And then take that F and resolve it down to E. There you go. So, so that's all you did. You take the F with your right hand. Take that F and bring it down to E. That's your next chord, C7. And then you want to come to F minor nine, double F on the left hand, A flat, C, E flat, G on the right hand. Then you want to go like that. That's what we want to do. Okay. So the first one is a B flat seven on the screen. You see sharp 11. Uh, for my brain, uh, uh, and I've said this on other tutorials, whenever you see a sharp 11, the equivalent in the flat name will be flat five. So um, I like to say flat five because it's just easier for me to remember. But B flat seven sharp 11 is a proper name, but on the chord sheet, you'll see flat five because that's just for me when I'm in the middle of playing a song. And if I'm looking at chords, that just comes easier for me. That's just a house of jazz thing. Double B flat on the left hand. A flat, B flat, D, and then E natural. And then all you're gonna do is take that E natural and take it up to F. And when you take it up to F, it just becomes a straight up B flat seven chord. So it's gonna be like that. So you can either do it like that or, and then you wanna to switch to E flat major nine. Double E flat on the left hand, G, B flat, D, and F on the right hand. Okay. So the first time you play in a verse, you need a chord that's going to allow you to play all those chords again. So you're going to go ahead on and play D flat over E flat. And you can make a D flat add nine over E flat, just like we did in the intro of the song. Double E flat on the left hand, D flat, E flat, F and A flat on the right hand. You can always option to just do this. F, A flat, and D flat, that's still a D flat chord. And if you wanna do the add nine, you can always add the E flat on the top end. And you still, and it's still the same chord, it's still a D flat add nine over E flat. I'm just showing you two different ways you can accomplish the same thing. So you have options, you can either play it that way or all right, and then you're gonna play all those chords again for the verse. All right, so let's take a look at the verse all together now. Da, 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 da. She, 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 she. OK, 
Okay, that's the verse. And then it goes to the bridge, okay? So, all right, so from the bridge, you're going to, um, you're hitting the E flat major nine chord, you're hitting it, and then what you're going to do is you're going to hit, um, how did I, I did the, change the inversion. You're going to hit E flat major seven again, but you're going to switch the inversion because you're going to do this triplet. You're going to go da, 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 like that. You're going to walk, walk it up like that. So let's do this double E flat on the left hand, B flat, D, G on the right hand. You're going to go to F minus seven, double F on the left hand, C, E flat, F, A flat on the right hand to G minus seven, double G on the left hand, D, F, G, B flat. So you'll go bop, and then you'll go like that. And then you wanna go to A flat minus seven, okay? Uh, double A flat on the left hand, E flat, G flat, A flat, B natural on the right hand. And then I'm gonna take you back down to this, the, you know, to these chords in the center. So come down to D flat nine, but come down here. Double D flat on the left hand, F, A flat, B, E flat on the right hand. You can hit B flat minus seven. You can do it in this inversion since we did it in a different inversion earlier. Earlier we did it this way, so let's just switch it up. If you want to do it this way, do it, but you know, or you can do <laughs> double B flat on the left hand, F, A flat, B flat, D flat. Okay, then you're gonna move to E flat minus seven. Double E flat on the left hand, G flat, B flat, and D flat is all you need, but if you wanna add this E flat on top, that's up to you, it's still an E flat minus seven. Then you wanna come back down to A flat minus seven. And let's do this inversion this time. Double A flat on the left hand, G flat. A flat, B, E flat on the right hand. Then you're just gonna come out of key and go to a, a major nine chord. Double A on the left hand, A flat, B, D flat, E on the right hand. Then you're gonna jump over to D major nine. Double D on the left hand, F sharp, a c sharp and e on the right hand and then what you want to do is you want to do your d flat add nine over e flat chord again okay whichever way remember i showed you two different ways you can play it whichever way you want to play it um yeah there you go so you can do it double e flat on the left hand f a flat d flat and e flat and then you can just kind of chop it up and go like that. So you play it two, three, four, five, six, like that. Just chop it up. And then you're going to go back to the verse again. I already showed you all those chords. There's really no more chords to show you in the song. Um, so let's just play the bridge. Uh, is that where we are? Yeah. yeah let's just play the bridge. Let's do, so this is the bridge. So you got that walk. When you come out of the verse, I'll do the second half of the verse and go right into the bridge. And then we're going to call it, you know, call it, um, call it a video at that. I do, uh, da, da, da. So second half of the verse. Da. She Now to the bridge. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Now come out of the key. Okay, then you just play all the chords to the verse again. Um, there's a version that, um, there's out there where they just play the bridge again. 
Uh, so if you want to, like, if you're listening to a version out there and you're like, you're trying to figure out what just happened, um, there is the version. Matter of fact, the version that's in the link, or I should say that's in the description of this video that I have a link to. After they play that verse, they do play the bridge again, which I already showed you how to play it. So you just play the bridge again. And then after they play the bridge, they play the intro again, which I already showed you how to play. They'll just do all that again, but there's nothing new that they play. I've showed you every single chord. Now, when they get to the end of the song, they're going to go back and forth with A flat major nine and E flat major nine. So let's say you at the um you know you at the end of the song, right? So they on the verse and they're going do 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 who just met on the way. Okay, so then they're just gonna go back and forth. Who just met on the way? Who just met on the way? You can do that as many times as you want. And then when you're ready to end the song, who just met on the way? And you just end it like that. So like I say, you just bounce it, bounce between the A flat major nine when you're ready to end the song. Double A flat on the left hand, G, B flat, C, E flat on the right hand. Then on the way. Then E flat major nine. Double E flat left hand, G, B flat, D, F, and just go back and forth, back and forth. Man on the way, who just met on the way. And when you're ready to end it, who just met on the way. And ladies and gentlemen, you got yourself a nice little jazzy piece that you can impress your friends with. So go ahead and take the time to learn this. Uh, for those who might not know, I do offer these chord sheets. If you want, you can check the description of this video. Uh, your other option is to always, you can always go to my Patreon page. And if you pledge at least $5 monthly, every single time I create a new tutorial, from the moment you become a Patreon and forward, I'm not going backwards, but from the moment you become a Patreon moving forward, you will always get an email from me automatically with the new court sheet. So, the, and, and it's only just, you only will pay $5. Is this a monthly reoccurring on the Patreon? And that's it. That's all you will pay. Not $5 per sheet, just five times five dollars just you know once a month and you will just keep getting this that's my service for wanting to support me so uh definitely check out the patreon page and um i definitely catch y'all later have fun peace